Hey, good morning everybody. David Kirsch here and welcome to Honeycomb.fit, the place for everything health and wellness, mind and body. Today we're going to do the triple thread, arms, abs, and ass. I'm going to change it up a little bit. We're going to do a little Tabata training. Why? Short and sweet, very efficient. Getting the muscles work, getting your metabolism revved, and seeing that in a short burst of exercise, you can have a very effective, very effective workout. I'm gonna shut the comments off like I've been doing. And I'm gonna explain it for one second here. We're gonna do three series. One for arms, four exercises. We're working in 20 second intervals, not repetitions today. We're gonna repeat, so it's arms, starting with tricep push-ups, going to a plank to a tricep extension with rotation, going to Zotman curls, and finishing with TheraBand 21s. Four exercises for arms, repeated three times. Then I'll take a little bit of rest, answer some questions, I've got them, and then we'll start the same for abs. Four exercises, repeated three times, and last but not least, your booty, four exercises repeated three times. Are you right, ready to go? Are you ready to go? Arms, abs, and sexy ass. All right, I'm gonna turn the music up a little bit. I'm gonna get set. Counting down 10 seconds, tricep push-ups. I'm gonna start on my knees. I'm pressing through my palms. Core is engaged. Focusing on my triceps. And finishing up on my toes. Really working my triceps. Okay, next up, plank, tricep extension, getting ready. of my biceps, elbows are nice and tight, nice and slow, look at the biceps, only 10 pounds, and take it right up, this is the zombie curl, working the biceps from the bottom up, oh. okay, Okay, I'm a little behind, it's terrible. 21s, half up, core tight, arms cooking all the way up. Elbows in nice and tight, and now full range of motion, blasting it out. Oh, 20 seconds, and I'm gonna repeat that. I'm telling you, not a lot of weight, but you can see it's very focused, very concentrated. All right, I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna get ready. Tricep push-ups. Pushing through. I'm gonna stay on my knees now to show you that it's as effective. My core is engaged. Pushing through my palms. I've got five seconds to go. And my muscles and right to a plank tricep extension. Finish it up. Five. Okay, 
Zombie curls. Getting ready. Resting for 10 seconds. And starting. Here we go. Such an effective way to really get your muscles going. And Zama curls, you can see that it's working my forearms and also working the lower part of my biceps. All right, getting set. This is the second set. Here we go, 20 ones. And you control the resistance here by how far your feet are and how taut the tubing is. All the way up, halfway down, core is tight, and now full range. Oh. All right, 20 seconds. Oh. I'll tell you something, this is gonna be the third set. Third set here, and my arms and my heart rate definitely going, okay? I'm gonna get set. Tricep push-ups, the last set, make a count. Right up, come with me, let's go. Through my palms, right into my triceps. Oh. Sure. Core tight. My body is definitely feeling it. Modified is okay, remember that. Okay. Get set. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. All right, tricep, a little rotation, turning my palm on top, getting the longer head of my tricep. And switching arms. Getting set. For my last set, Woo! Sunday morning, arms, abs, and ass, right here, zombie curls, squeezing, my biceps are filling with blood, it feels amazing, I love it, focusing, my brain is in my biceps, squeezing, squeezing, all right, Getting set for the third bands. I love these 21s. I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna go full range this time first. And tighter. Halfway up. And halfway down. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Oh. All right, take a second here. That was great, guys. Four exercises, three sets. So 12 sets total, and my arms, biceps, triceps go great. Question number one, I've lost a lot of weight. I've got loose skin, what do I do? Do I go to the surgeon? Don't you do it. Don't you do it, right? A couple of things you can do. One, check your body fight out. You may have lost a lot of weight, you still may have more body fat to lose. If you're up at 18 and 20%, let's see if we can go getting you down to 10 to 12, 12 to 15%. That'll make a huge difference. It'll help tighten the skin. Fill up the loose skin with some muscle. Work out hard. Work out hard, right? It'll help firm and tone the appearance of your body and your skin. Look, try those things definitely before surgery. Next question, trying to decide how much time a day is self-care versus selfish. Very subjective, you decide, right? But remember, you gotta take care of yourself, nourish your soul, nourish your heart, connect your mind and body. If you do that and you don't rush it, you're not gonna regret the time you spend with your family, with your friends, with anyone, right? But take care of yourself first and don't rush it. Last but not least, and then we're gonna go back to work out. Time to stop using, uh, when do I stop using the threes and graduate to the eights, tens, or whatever. Look, you know it. If you can do 10 to 12 repetitions, good form, not rushing through it, it's time to graduate, bump it up. 
That's what I'm thinking. If your form is still good, you're not losing the form and you're getting repetitions, bump up, up the weight, bump up the weight, okay? But for me, it's quality, it's not quantity. It's not a bunch of crazy repetitions that don't count and it's not too much weight that you can't handle. Stay in your own head, listen to your body, you'll know when it's time to go. Last but not least, Time to start uh, kettlebell swings. Done correctly will definitely tone your body. Kettlebell swings are an amazing, amazing workout. Full body, legs, butt, core, arms, shoulders, back. I'll use my water bottle, I'll use uh, a dumbbell, I'll use a medicine ball, whatever I have, or just my, just my body weight. Okay, next series, we're working abs. So, we're gonna work with the sliders. We've got, <clears throat> we've got pike. We've got a pike and a knee tuck. We've got prone hip thrusts. We have lying oblique crunches and we've got weighted jackknives. Four exercises, again, done as a series, repeated three times, okay, with <clears throat> 10 second intervals in between each set. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Do you want to have sexy tone abs? This is what I do, this is what I want you to do. Let's go. Setting the timer up. All right, here we go. Move the doubles out of the way. All right, that whistle is up. Knee tuck. Paper plates. Oh, towels. Next up, prone hip thrusts. Love these. Right up. No momentum. Number three, such an effective way to work out. There's no wasted time. Crushing my obliques right now. My brain is right up here, squeezing, sucking my belly in, belly button to my spine. Jackknife. Here we go. are cooking, my core is awake. Ha! Arms, abs, and ass. The Tabata way. Very efficient, guys. Okay. <sighs> Sliders. Quick, 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 quick. My back. Here we go. Here we go. Ha! 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 Other side. Such an efficient way to get your body going. And I hate doing really cardio, so this does it. Uh. 
right so in just 17 minutes I've done my arms have a little water I've done my abs I've worked my triceps I've worked the long head I've worked them all I worked my biceps both regular traditional curls and 21s Zotman curls working the lower part and working my forearms too so every part blends in together. My hip thrusts, my line go bleed crunches, those are all amazing. My slider knee tuck to pike, working from the bottom up, sucking and toning my core, my obliques. Those are the things that I'm working on. Again, 18 minutes in, I'm gonna ask a couple more questions. Holding my six month girls, oh my God. So, you're afraid your arms are gonna be tired. By the way, I totally relate to that because I always had these visions when my girls, Amelia and Francesca, were just born. I could clutch them really tight because I was afraid I was gonna drop them. Somehow, right? So, in no time I realized that, God bless them, they were getting big. I was probably feeding them a little too much. Um, and holding them was a constant isometric contraction. At six months old, oh my God. At six months old, my girls were probably between 20 and 25 pounds each. Holding them, walking, I would go from my office on Fifth Avenue, Madison Square Park, to Sixth Avenue and 24th Street, and that was the longest walk because they wanted to be held and I wanted to hold them. So, that holding them, look at the biceps, that's what's happening. Forget about weights, you don't need it. They are your most natural weight. And who do you love more? You're not dropping those, right? You hold on tight. Isometric, so, so, so effective. All right, my heart rate has come down a little bit, right? Last but not least, we're gonna go to our abs. I almost said abs again, but my abs are cooking. I don't wanna do it anymore. I'm gonna work on my butt. And you all know that I love working on my butt. We're gonna look at it the same way. I'm gonna adjust the clock. It's Three sets, four exercises. We're gonna start with banded lateral walks. 20 second intervals, 10 second rest in between each exercise. That's the Tabata method, right? And I tweaked it a little bit, made it a little kirchy, but it's okay. All props to the Tabata method. It's very, very clever. 
It is. Very time efficient in a very effective cardio muscle sculpting way. Absolutely. So, banded lateral walks, dumbbell deadlifts for your for your for your group maximus for sure. Bulgarian squats and reverse crossover lunges to a lateral lunge. Doing that four exercises, repeating it three times. I'm gonna get ready, right? I'm gonna put my band on. So if you've got a band, band up. All right. And I'm gonna turn the music up a little bit. Here we go. I'm gonna get ready. Working my glute medius right now. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. My feet stay on shoulder width distance apart. And I'm bending my legs a little bit, getting more in the butt. Watch what's going on here. I'm back here, all my energy is here. All right. Next up. Dumb a deadlift. Three, two, one. Straight legs. Flat back. Stick my butt out. Oh, reaching down. Core tight. Shoulder blades retracted. Feeling it all in my boots, a little bit in my hamstrings. If you need to bend your legs a little bit, do it. Okay. 10 seconds.
getting ready for the third set. I'm going to band up. You know what? I'm going to start with the crossovers this time. If I get time, mix it up a little bit so you keep it on your toes. Okay, here we go. And now, right up to banding. I've got six, five, four, three. No downtime. Here we go. Really sitting down low this time. Huh. Oh, this is amazing, guys. Really sitting low. Core tight. Back in my butt. Huh. 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 10 seconds. Oh. Oh. Alright, last set of Bulgarian squats. Right down. There we go. So, I'm going to catch my breath for one second. Huh. I don't know about you, right? But that was a crazy good... I don't want to talk over this, right? I'm going to lower this a little bit. What a crazy way to start your day. Arms, abs. I got to show you, man, because... Because... This is what happens when you work hard. There's your obliques, right, right here, nice and tight. And ass, I'm not showing you my ass, I'm sorry. This is G, a G-rated Sunday morning special, right? But the band and ladder was working the medias and the book area squats working, the maximus and working your hamstrings tying and the triceps, the three heads and working your biceps and your core and the crazy cardio component all wrapped into one. I got a few more questions, right? So 30 pounds overweight, arms are disproportionately large. It happens, uh, genetics. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to continue working your arms. I want you to do high repetition, medium weight, let's say 10 to 15 pounds, depending on your fitness level, and maybe 15, 20 pounds and drop sets. I love doing drop sets. Starting with a higher weight, repping out, next weight, let lower down, repping out, and repeating it until your muscles are completely fatigued. Keep it going, keep the muscles going, and the arms will get smaller. Trust me, I've seen it happen. Tricep push-ups are so effective also, and you can do them against a kitchen counter, against the sofa, on the floor, against a park bench, and on the beach blanket, right? So just keep on moving. Another one. Oh my goodness. What is my body part to blast and curse? Well, look, I'm known as a master of the ass, bro. I can say it's the butt. Uh, but I love blasting the core. I love sculpting bodies, right? I look at a body, I see what's beautiful from the inside out, but I also see what we need to work on. I look at myself objectively every morning. What do I need to blast? So I'm not gonna just say I'm the master of the ass. I'm gonna say I am a master sculptor, plain and simple. Uh, CBD works. Um, uh, I've got a great uh, company um, that uh, supplies these patches. Uh, half CBD, half helps. Um, and putting it here to 24 hour time release patch. There are other companies out there. This is the one I'm using right now. It's amazing, it's amazing. Um, and I feel it in my whole body. But here's the thing, guys. I'm gonna add one more thing before I sign off. I always go past my time. Um, the beauty of this Havada workout, right? And it'll get better. And I'll add, I'll add more sets and maybe I'll add a bigger giant set, right? And more repetitions. Um, it's time efficient. It gets your metabolism up. 
It blasts your muscles. It's a great precursor to a Peloton workout, right? If you're gonna do that, or anything else you're gonna do. In 20 or 25 minutes, without my talking, you get a very effective full body experience. Amazing job, amazing job as always. Love working with you, I love being here for you. Sunday morning on honeycomb.fit. All my workouts, Stacy's workouts, Tracy's workouts, and Mark Messier's workouts, you can see it on our IGTV on honeycomb.fit. Again, I think I told you, but I'm gonna tell you again because I am so excited. I am visiting my dear friend, Liv Tyler, on Tuesday morning, 10 o'clock, Eastern Standard Time, on her Instagram channel, right? I'm coming with Honeycomb, and we're raiding her channel. She's gonna invite us in, into her house, in the UK, and I'm gonna work with her, and I can't wait to do it, and I hope each and every one of you is gonna be there to share it with me. I love you. Sunday, have an amazing, beautiful day. It's gonna be beautiful out. Get out with your family, get out with your dogs, and have a great day of movement. I'll see you later.